Hey guys, today I want to show off the uh, new 6-hour P320 Legion Comp slide. Um, some time ago, SIG released this new, you know, P320 Legion Comp pistol. And then, you know, since then, I've been waiting for this whole slide assembly to be available. And then, uh, a couple of days ago, I found out, uh, I found out that it, it uh, became available. So I got super excited and then I placed the order. So I just got it and I can't wait to just share with you guys what it looks like, uh, how it uh, looks on different kind of grips and maybe uh, give you some reference information if you want to, you know, create a build uh, using this slide. So uh yeah i believe you have seen a lot of materials online how this slide or the pistol looks or works you know so i will not repeat all of those things so let's go straight to you know assembly so uh this slide comes with full um uh, assembly meaning it has all the internal parts you know uh, striker and you know uh, extractor and everything so it takes a 3.9 inch um, what do you call it compact uh, barrel and this is my uh, aftermarket barrel from killer innovations and I just happen to have this one uh, staying idle not you know doing anything so I, I it becomes a um, perfect uh, situation for me because now I can use Make, make use of it and uh, after you put this the barrel in you can see where the muzzle end is at let's see the lightning is a little bit tricky uh, yeah so you can see the muzzle is right there so it's kind of a little bit more behind the first port it's not really, it's not exactly um, a flush fit at the port but I guess that's how it was designed. And it takes a uh, P320 full size uh, re recoil spring. So in this case, I got the DPM system and I originally used it for my uh, FDAS Works comp slide build, uh, which takes a 4.7 uh, inch full size barrel. And in this case, although the barrel is shorter, it takes the same uh, recoil spring so I can just directly put it in so the cap is already in there and I just slide it in so the difference between this guy and the uh, FDAS works full size is that it has two ports here so which makes this side longer therefore it can only take it for a uh, 3.9 inch barrel uh, compared to FDAS works uh, it has only one port I believe and it takes a longer barrel so slightly different but not quite the same right so now uh, how does it look on different kind of grips first uh, this is my uh, p320 x5 legion right the full size grip the legion grip this is tungsten infused thing um, I've shown it on many of my other builds so let's just slide this guy on it looks like this so very very flush fit on the muzzle on the slide muzzle so very neat super clean and neat so yeah if you want to build one that looks better compared to you know the original xg legion comp or whatever uh you know in my opinion this is a better looking gun and you can you know originally i was worried about this side is narrower than the slide it turns out that it is but it's actually less concerning than i expected uh honestly i don't know why sig ha had to make it that way maybe because for the uh, sliding purpose uh, for the racking purpose maybe if you want to grab on this side instead of here but i would imagine after you know some time of shooting this will be pretty hot so i i don't know you know in my opinion you you know, probably Sig didn't have to make a kind of, what do you call it, tapered kind of shape. Um, but it doesn't look too bad. 
it's not as neat, but it's acceptable, you know? And uh, yeah, full flush fit. This is turns out to be much better than I expected. And then after you, you rack it, here's where the barrel is. Looks a little bit odd, of course, but you know, yeah. So I think I would go shooting with this build or combination. And now let's take a look at other grips that you might wonder. You know, hey, what if I don't want the uh, Legion heavy grip? This is the uh, aftermarket uh, metal grip from Armory Craft. Uh, it is a full size, it's essentially a full size AXG grip. Uh, I don't think SIG still, uh, I, I don't think SIG has produced a full size AXG grip yet. So this is the aftermarket, you know, option for you. I will not put the FCU on, but just want to show you how it looks like because it is also a full size. Uh, length wise is not, nothing, you know, too different from the AXG, uh, no, no, from the, uh, uh, X5 Legion. So this is what it looks like, I think. Still looks pretty good, you know, kind of kind of flash fit, but it's, you know, a little bit like a two-tone. One is gray and one is black. Does not look super good to me, according to my personal preference. So next, this is the SIG original AXG grip. You might wonder how it looks like. Uh, this would be the same as, uh, the SIG factory uh, AXG comp legion, except that this grip is black and that they have a gray to match this whole thing. So the length wise uh, is the same as what you can find online. So not a flush fit, but what's flush here uh, is this section, right? It's pretty neat. Uh, here is tapered, here is tapered, so it goes down and smooth kind of right so yeah basically this is what it looks like and i'm super happy that i just get another uh build per se you know without really having to purchase a lot of different things just the slide itself um yeah i have the barrel and i have the grip have everything else yeah this is what it looks like uh tell me what you think maybe you want to you know, buy the same slide and save some money uh, compared to a full-size uh, pistol. Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. See you next time.